Hey everyone, just doing a quick video about what the Flyers just did. The Flyers have signed Sean Couturier. They re-signed him for eight years, $7.75 million, and great move, my, 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 in my opinion. Uh, he was said to be an unrestricted free agent after this upcoming season, 21-22. And I think it's a great deal. I mean, Andrei Svechnikov on the Hurricanes pretty much got the same exact deal earlier, earlier on today, and... Coots is going to be here for a long time. He's a guy that seems like future captain material for this team. I'm not saying, oh, get Drew out. I'm just saying, like, at some point, like, Couturier, I can see him being a captain on this team. And, and it, this is a great team-friendly deal. I thought he he might want to demand more, but it's almost like a Landis guy in Colorado sort of thing where it seemed like, yeah, he could have gotten more on the open market, but it seemed like he wanted to... uh Stay on the team and make a good deal for the team. So I think that's a great sign. A great signing, obviously. Kateri, former Selkie winner, great two way forward, can get you around like sixty points a year. Maybe this year he can get like climb over thirty goals. But overall, really, really good, solid, consistent player. Offense is pretty good, but where his real impact comes from is just how good of a shutdown uh, centerman he can be and how well he can defend opposing lines and a team as awful as this team was defensively last year they really do need him and him not being on this team would be a real disaster waiting to happen so he's locked up he's not going to go anywhere he's going to be a flyer for a long time in the future and really happy about that yay for coots in other news the flyers also have signed Derek Broussard who has played for a lot of teams in his uh, NHL career, and he's been pretty effective for the most part. I mean, he played the Coyotes, Penguins, Islanders, mostly with the Rangers. Though that's the, I think that's where people most remember him. And he's reunited with Elaine Vigneault. So at this point in his career, uh, early to mid-30s, I see Derek Broussard being a, a good like bottom six forward, maybe even on the fourth line. I mean, he can win face-offs. He can play tough. He can play good uh, Good defensively. I guess this kind of pushes Nate Thompson out of the lineup as of right now, who the Flyers did re-sign uh, in during free agency. But not really a big deal. I mean, Nate Thompson probably can probably play a good, like, 20, 25 games this year. Where Broussard's going to be probably going to be in the lineup more often than he's not. And I'm fine with that. Like, Derek Broussard, consistent player. Should give you uh, some good uh, results. Should give you good value for the bottom six or fourth line minutes that he's going to get. So veteran leadership. Flyers are trying to be as deep as possible, and like the move. So Sean Couturier, he's going to be a big. He's going to be a flyer for a long time. Really happy about that. And Derek Broussard, uh, good depth signing, good veteran signing, leadership. And so those are my thoughts on the two Flyers moves in the last couple of days.